You're, you're now rocking with the voice of the South. C- Catch 22 radio show on 92kills.com. Yeah, hey. yeah. Ray still don't know how to count, but that's his lifestyle. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> We are back. It's Catch 22 Radio Show. I go by the name of Tay. I got Catch Drewski in the building with me. Brian D. Boy Davis is currently on vacation with his arms out and feet in the sand. And he's going to mm-hmm. come back even more ashy because he's out there in that salt water. Hopefully, he can take care of that second elbow. <laughs> <left one. laughs> Shout out to Brian. We love you, bro. But we have another special guest in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this guy does movie uh, music. Movie yeah. music. Yeah, we're going to explain a little later. We got Sonny in the building. What's what it do? Man? What it do? What it do, man? How you doing? I'm good. First of all, I'm not doing that good because your hair is like laid. It's better oh, than man. mine. No, nah, man. It's nappy You right got now. a perm? No. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> but no, mixed. look, look. He just said it was nappy. Like, let's let's Bro, understand it. Like, nappy. there's some dudes with some nappy hair. Oh, like, yeah. Well. Yours I, is just like a mess. It ain't, <laughs> it ain't, it ain't well put together as far as how I could do. Oh, I about to say, cause you got I just know, woke bro. up. I just woke up and just came out the house. See, See that's that ain't what I'm saying. Fair. So that means it's not happening. Cause some people can't just get up and go. They got to struggle to. Yeah. To, to Clearly, I can't. You see this bouffant on my head. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> now you do, like I said, you do uh, movie music. Yeah. And you do music videos that correlate with your uh, music, which are actually film type. Yeah. So how did you come up with the concept to do something like that? All right, well, it started off uh, back in 2015, and I started a project. It was a music video, but uh, I ended up coming back with like a sequel to the music video with the same um, character, which was uh, Mazi Monet, okay. which is Victoria Monet back in the day. Okay. She changed her name. And uh, when she wanted to do it again, which was like a chapter three, which it wasn't a chapter. It just I was like, you know what? We got this going. Let's just keep it going. So y'all was like trapped in the closet. He <laughs> was like a trapped in the closet of Houston. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, how does one get in one of these videos? Because I'm just telling you now, I'm sexy. So I feel like I should be <laughs> on somebody's camera. Um, yeah. But how does somebody get in touch with you to like do something like that? Uh, You can email me. You know, email me your resume. Email me what you've done. You know what oh, I'm so saying? you got to have experience. Oh, uh, no, you don't really have to have experience. Because honestly, uh, the project was, uh, I like, I picked out the main characters. Oh, okay. Um, you know, you got a compilation of, this like the probably the first time uh, Amani Scott worked with um, Skyra Bliss. Okay. And they worked with uh, Majin Bowden. Everybody was all on the same platform, which was what I wanted to see. Okay. And uh, I made female artists be- have a chance to have uh, um, a platform to be actors for a change. Okay. And it worked out. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, honestly, just hit me up. You know what I'm saying? If you really want to do it, I'll put you in it. <laughs> I want to do it. So, yeah. would you want to take this to, like, uh, to like theater? Like, make it like a Hamilton-type theater? I actually took it to theaters um, in December. I had okay. my debut. And uh, it did real good. I sold uh, 91 out of 100 tickets. Wow. Man. And uh, got a lot of love from everybody. Uh, they put my poster in there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just the process of theaters is rigorous. Like, yeah. Right. Right. People that probably have done it, they probably did it, but they didn't have to do what I had to do. Um, I actually had an error with my format that I got back to go to theaters. You, I didn't just, uh, it didn't go smooth, let's say. That, yeah. You know, it was actually something wrong with the audio and the video matching up in theaters. So it was mm. off. So I had to go in the manual online and do it myself. Wow. My director was in San Antonio. So I did it myself. And, uh, they let me come in there and do my test screenings, and I got it right maybe like a week before it was about to debut, and there we go. I ain't, I ain't been the same since because I ain't, I ain't sleep. I ain't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so I think um, you should do like a musical, kind of like a play. Yeah. Like Medea. Yeah, I've been um, getting that a lot too. Yeah, and definitely like, I mean, again, I'm really like perfect for the role. If you, you want to be in it, huh? Listen, I can really act, okay? For real? I'm acting right now. You well, let's know do it. it. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. <laughs> how about... We can make it happen. How about I get your commitment, you got my commitment. Bet, let's do for it. For my let's next project, it. for sure. <laughs> so, are you planning on continuing to do this with the rest of your uh, projects? Or? Yeah, but I'm just giving it a, a, like a spin on, on my next project. My next project uh, is actually based on a... Uh, I'm not going to say white. It's a Caucasian. Oh, um, okay. 
kind of a superhero type thing. Not superhero, but um, somebody that's going to be the main character. She's going to be Caucasian, but it's going to be surrounding urban. Like she's going to be mm. have like an urban. Uh, so she's background. gonna be a white girl in there saving the hood. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you just, you really it's just gonna be it's, it's gonna be a um it's gonna be a white girl that knows a lot about the Houston culture. Slim Thug, Bun B, uh. Paul Wall. She's gonna know a lot about the Houston culture. Why? Um it's just gonna be something different. I can't really That's gonna be her I, superpower. I mean I can't <laughs> I can't tell you a lot about it, but she'll she'll be like it was it's actually like a secret agent movie. So to okay. give you a better description of it's a secret agent movie. Okay. And I did a short film on it already. So for her to commit to be this character, I, I can show you a clip and it might use like, oh, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I can't get, spill the beans too much on it. I got to get it done first, but you can get like a lot more um, insight on it. But I'm taking that to the theaters too. I've already okay. made my mind up. And this is my DJ right here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? DJ Yams G. Um, he gonna, What's his name? DJ Yams G. He like Yams? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and um, but overall, it's gonna be my music gonna be in the background of okay. everything. So, would you ever want to score a movie? I I would want to get into that. I actually want to get into the, the more of the behind the scenes after being the face of my own movie. I right. would I would love to be behind the scenes or something like that. Um, it's so much stuff you could do in filming, and filming and audio go hand in hand. Right. That's something I really realized that now that I took my move to theaters, I watch everything differently. Mm -hmm. It right. kind of changed my life. Now I look at any movie and say they. They had this song in the background. Yeah. They had this sound in the background. That's yeah. why some of the moods go how they go in certain scenes. Sad, yeah. happy, party. So I uh I went to another level, um, what it was December. December when I when it when it aired, I mean when it uh, showed in, in theaters. So I just went to another level because I had to see myself on that screen seven, eight times before right. I could see it with the people and to hear the people reaction to some of the things on the big screen. It was just it was just gave me another purpose, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, so being different, how how do you capitalize? I guess in in Houston being the third biggest city in America, yeah. how do you capitalize here so it can widespread across America? Like, what's the what's the I guess the goal to to get your brand out here? Well, you you know I think we all know social media. You got to utilize that in a way that you never utilized it before, which is why I am who I am, which is why a lot of artists we look up to is who they are. Mm -hmm. That's just what it is right now. Social media, you have to turn that into, you have to turn what you do into your life. So I became my movie, and my movie was about creeping and about stuff like that. And people thought I was actually a person like that. And I'm like, I can see why. Because, you know, they it's hard to, like, I guess, separate the reality from social media, but you have to cut all emotions out and just... Become your brand, not only just social media, mm -hmm. you know, of course, get out there. I mean, social media, was, that was my nick. That was like what I did to get out there. Right. And the people that was in my movie, they had huge fan bases, so it was a cross market. Right. That's how I did it. Um, the dancers, um, down to um, the artists, everybody that was in it did something outside of, uh, outside of had their own fan base. Right. So I would say just um, every every platform, social media-wise, you got to, you gotta wipe it, wipe it out, and just go on along and put your business on there if you really want it to flourish. Cause you have to have your life surrounding it now. Mm -hmm. And social media is a part of all that. Lot. I think we all get up every every day. If we got notification, we checking that. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, just kind of corner the market of who you are, and just don't be scared. People be scared to do that. Cause your numbers will probably go down if you start promoting your business. That's just what's gonna happen. Show yeah. consistency of it. Do it for a year. Do it for two years, and watch what happens. Right. So. That <clears throat> I Wait, have, uh, before we before we go into that next question, okay. we're going to take a quick break. Okay. Sure. Okay. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to let uh, DJ Anthrax go into a mix. And when we come back, we got more with Sunny. It's Catch 22 Radio Show. Let's go. Yeah. 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 When I walk through. Yeah. So we was in here watching uh, Sunny's videos. And they live. <laughs> I think I'm ready for it. Um, I don't want to be an extra, though. I want to talk. You want to be a main character. I want to huh? be a character. I don't oh, care dang. about none of that. I got um, you, man. So, Drew, you had a question before we were leaving out? I don't remember it, but I did have a lot of questions about it. So, uh, when it comes to your videos, like, who helps you write, like, or do you write just the treatments for all of your videos? Yeah, I do all the writing, and I do all the casting, and wow. I also do uh, the screenplay. I don't think I'm not behind, actually, um, is the camera. And, you know, with part of my directors, I want to have a real close relationship with my director. Me and him grew up together, the one that did my last movie. So, um... Just figuring out what I want. The director is always a big part, but I do the writing, the casting, 
and the, uh, the screenplay and the writing is, you know, it just come off of just natural, natural, because my music is a story. Mm -hmm. So in this era, you just got to be able to uh, display what you're talking about. And I make stories to where I can, I can write it out. The characters want to be in their roles and everything come together once we on set. Okay, so now I remember. All right, so <laughs> with the with the with with your project, can you tell them a little bit like the name of it, like the overview of what the project is about? So when they go look at it, it's like because I'm 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 intrigued by it when I first seen it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but I would like to know like exactly what it is I'm watching. Yeah. So like if you can give them the name and you know what I mean, like a, a brief overview of the project, I think that would like bring it more full circle. Got you. Well. Um the last one I did, which is, uh, it'll come out this summer. Um, I'm not pretty sure on what platform, but it'll come out this summer. It's called The Creep City Movie. Mm -hmm. And it's a five-chapter, thrilling five-chapter um, compilation of music videos and acting in between. And also got some of the top local acts, uh, Monty Scott, Skyra Bliss, Mozzie Monet, um, even some of the top dancers, uh, T. Lynn, um, who's doing some good things out here on choreography. Courtney D., who is doing some good things on choreography. Dancers are in there as well. And uh, it's just a big, full um, compilation of entertainment. You know what I'm saying? And just follow the storyline because you don't want to miss nothing. They got trailers in between every chapter. Okay. To kind of give you the storyline and what's of what's going on, what happened last chapter, and et cetera, et cetera. So, do you drop these separate, or are you going to drop them all at once? I actually put out the first four chapters. Um, okay. I put them out within the span of two years. So, I gave you four chapters, but the fifth one, I haven't, I haven't yet to put it out. But if you came to theaters, you've seen the fifth one. You've seen what happened after chapter four, which ended with a gunshot. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Ain't it kind of crazy? Big argument and a gunshot go off screen, blank out. If you came to theaters, you know what happened after that. But uh, if you didn't and you're still waiting for that chapter, I have it coming out this summer. Not sure on the date, but it'll be probably in July. Okay. For okay. sure. So, um, I don't know if you heard, but it's Thick and Nasty Sunday. Oh, damn. Um, so, Thick and Nasty is a group. It's okay. a really amazing group, and I don't know if you... I feel like you should know, but if you don't... Thick and Nasty. We are Thick and Nasty. Okay. Okay, so it's Thick and Nasty Sunday. Our <laughs> manager is actually out of town. Yeah. Um, so, Drewski. Mm -hmm. Explain to Sonny who Thick and Nasty is. Man. Okay, so Thick and Nasty, right now we are uh, background actors. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but the thing is, like, you you know, like, yours is more of uh, music movie. So, uh -huh. like, your music will be playing, but what I'm acting has nothing to do with what your music is okay. talking about. Um, I'm be doing my own thing on the side. Like, yeah. you know, like, you might be having a real intimate conversation. I might be over here cooking some grits. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know. But <laughs> in the you know, um, No, that makes a big difference, though. That makes yeah, a big difference, know, though. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? I might bust in, but like, I want some grits. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we do everything. We background rappers, singers, dancers. Um, it's, I'm a front ground dancer because I don't like to be in the background. At all. Got you. But, you know, we do a lot. You think that'll work out? I think it will work out. See, I like I like that, man. See, I trust you because your stuff is already up there. So uh -huh. I know that it'll work. Yeah, for sure. I like that, man. <laughs> that, that sounds real different right now. See, That's like, you see him, like, in the back right now. See, oh, like, yeah. Playing cards. Uh -huh. like, I wouldn't even play cards. Like, my frisbee would just fly. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you would have a huge right effect on movie. it. Yeah, like, why he playing frisbee? Everybody else in the house chilling. Yeah, you would have a huge effect on it. Exactly. Okay, I got you. No, okay, thick and nasty. <laughs> I got your resumes already. I ain't got to send that in. <laughs> for sure. So, besides the uh, movie aspect in your music, what else inspires you to do these things? Uh, I think it's just, uh, I think it became something, I think it, once I turned it to a hobby, it uh -huh. was, it was, it was beautiful. Once it became a hobby and something I didn't have to do, yeah. um, I got my own little home studio, so I don't have to be forced to go to a studio and, you know, get it done within an hour. I can sit and do one song for a week, you know what I'm saying? So now it's just a hobby now. Right. I really love doing music and I really love showing what my music is about and coming up with the visuals, which I'm about to roll out a whole batch of new ones this okay. summer along with. Um, the compilation of this as well. So, okay. yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just doing what I love to do, and I think that's when the, your best, the best side of you comes out. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing sure. something you don't like doing, it's, 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 it's gonna show. For definitely. sure. Yeah. Definitely. Do you like texting? Texting? Mm -hmm. I don't really like texting, man. Okay, I can tell. You got an Android. Yeah. I wouldn't answer your message. <laughs> What's wrong with Android? What's wrong with Android? Let's have that right now. What's wrong with Android? I would not answer okay. your messages at all. So, <laughs> What's wrong with Android? Androids, Androids are a little childish. You yeah. Know, like people with Androids, they, don't, they let their kids play with their phone. Like, yeah. Oh, they don't care. <laughs> they don't care. Because you got a bunch of games on your phone. Like, yeah, you don't always. Even care. 
Uh, and your emojis are childish. Okay, well, I heard iPhones. I heard if y'all both have iPhones, one person can get into the other iPhone and look up and find out some other stuff about your You got to give them access. Yeah, you got to. Oh, okay. It's an access See, look, thing. you already think about creepy stuff. Like, you just, <laughs> you, you, you want to be. I was just saying. You want to protect your that's, interest. That's, that's, that's what I was is. told. That's what I was told. I was like, oh, no, nah, I'm going to stick with that. And then all y'all nah. videos look like World War II videos. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I, I can't vouch for that. <laughs> I, can, look, I can say that iPhones always had that. That good camera. Yeah, I be on social media. It was like, oh, she was definitely in war. She with definitely on the out. She was definitely on the oh, Android, huh? She was on the note too, huh? <laughs> hey, I'm gonna stick with Android. You know, we gonna ride. We gonna ride with Android until further notice. Uh, yeah, that should be like next week. Because <laughs> if we gonna do, we gonna have to just communicate through Instagram. I paid my phone off, so we'll look into it. Got- <laughs> I, I, yeah, I paid it off. You know. <laughs> All right, so what's next for you? What's next? Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and finish uh, this project I got called Sweet 69. Hold on. <laughs> sound like something right, so that sounds like something you do. Okay, well, Creek City is one place. That's the place you don't want to go, but Sweet 69 is a, you know, it's like a party. It's like a laid-back lounge type thing uh-huh. that I'm making out of a, a, um, an album, like a short. Why well, I don't want to go to Creek City? People cheat. Cause I'm a good cheater. Yeah, it's like it's right. like it's like yeah, I'm Creep City. Yeah, everybody that's in Creep City not doing something right. Oh, oh I mean, well, I need that's to be there. I need to be. That's <laughs> no, I wouldn't be there. No, 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 man. no. I do want to ask you: Is there somebody like in the city that you would love to work with on your projects that you just haven't had the chance to work with? Man, I just wanna, I just wanna really just wanna meet Slim Thug. You know, Slim Thug doing, he ain't just known for the music. You know what I'm saying? He known for a lot of other business ventures. Right. Something I'd love to get into as well. Whatever kind of knowledge Slim Thug can give me, man, I, I you know, I'd take it. Yeah. I think everybody feels that way. He like, it's like Uncle Slim. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. Everybody feels like he got, he got some things that, uh, should be uh should be told. So Slim, you know, if you're listening, you should definitely hold a seminar in Houston. For sure. Definitely. And let us know how we can, uh get on to these other business ventures. Exactly. For sure, for sure. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for stopping All by right. and kicking it with us. Where can everybody cool. find you on social media before I, you get I'm out? on there at uh, Creep City Sunny. That's uh, on Instagram. I guess Facebook, you can uh, type in Sunny D. And it's a dollar sign for the S, two E's. I don't got no Twitter. <laughs> I, I deleted Twitter. Why don't you nobody Twitter? on Twitter? Yeah, oh, no, nah, I don't man. want Twitter, man. That's where all the connections is happening. I like. can see it on, I can see it on, uh, on the news or something when they, you know, post it, everybody else tweets, but, you know, <laughs> they go back and find something on you from like 2011 they and they'll use that against you. So, you know, I'm just, I just leave it mine. You never know who's screenshotting out here. Look, yeah, you sure. it, but it's still on the internet. So yeah, you right. You right. If somebody right. tags you, you know, uh, I was like, I thought I'd delete that picture. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. uh-uh, it's still there. For sure, yeah. All right, y'all. Well, thank you again for stopping by. Appreciate we really do appreciate it. it. Come by anytime. We're about to go into a mix with DJ Long Nipples. And when we come back, we're going to have some conversations with Cash 22. Let's get with the radio show. <laughs> You're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 radio show on 92kills.com. Not into wasting time. I was just doing fine. Should hey, I what's happening, man? It's your boy, Sonny D. Oh, hey, child, Sonny D. Creep City, Sonny, whatever you want to call it. And I rock with Catch 22 Radio, the hottest radio out here. Right? Y'all know what it is. I'm the author, the creator of the Creep City movie that debuted December 2018. And it will drop on digital this summer. You know what I'm saying? But right now, Catch 22 Radio, this is where it's at, baby. Chop, chop, chop.